Hello class R. Um, this is another video where I'm just going to go through some of the bits that have been sent in um, just because they're amazing and you might want to see what some of your friends have been up to too. Um, so thank you for anything that has been sent in. I also appreciate there's probably lots of things that you're doing at home that you haven't sent in, um, which is equally amazing anyway. So I just want to say a massive well done to class R for anything that you've done at home using any of the skills that we've learned in school. Uh, I'm really, really impressed. But yeah, I just thought I'd share some of them again in my not very technical way um, from my laptop onto the camera. Um, there are no faces or names, but if you have sent something in, keep your eyes peeled because you might be able to work out if it's from you or not. So the first one is someone that had their own go with their little brother at making an egg nest and with some very cool tyres. They said, I dug out some soil added some sawdust and put sticks around to keep the eggs safe and warm and I had great fun doing it with my little brother too and not only did he make the egg nest looks like he's done his own kind of melting dinosaur eggs here which looks like a really cool thing to do and he even found a pentagon which I've highlighted there five cornered five sided 2d shape well done you I wonder if you can work with your eyes this person look how cozy this egg nest is I don't know if you can see that but there's a very soft furry rug there's sort of like a very soft furry blanket it's wrapped in it's even got some trains to keep that dinosaur egg busy he was very impressed with himself and this picture fred was particularly impressed with he's been doing some writing what looks like some cdc words well done you this person has been doing a mixture of things so over here we've got some writing where i think somebody's asked him some questions and he's written down his answers i'm going to read them to you it says, what is his name? And I think it's about a dinosaur because his answer was a Spikosaurus. What does he like to do? And he's written back, he likes to slime. What is his favourite food? And down here it says plants. So he's got a herbivore. And so where does he live? In the wood. Lovely job. Perfect writing. He's had a go at making some fossils. And what looks like a science experiment with some static on a balloon. You see his hair's raised up there and he's then made some paper ghosts and by holding that over the top it looks like they're floating and he's been very busy over here i've got somebody who's got their own kind of flashcards of some high frequency words and some tricky words and they made themselves this ginormous path along maybe their living room and as they were walking along, they were reading them all, some of them by sight, some of them they sounded out and they just did a super job and it was a really nice idea. I like that one. Um, they also wanted to know if I'd change my calendar. I assume they'd listen to the Days of the Week song and just so they know, I have changed it. It now says April and it's showing me all the things that I was supposed to be doing in April, but instead I'm stuck inside with Fred the Puppet and Dinosaur. But never mind. This is some writing that was sent in to me. I'm going to read it to you. It says, I would put the egg under the bed because, well done, Brian, who's, I found out one of his toys under his bed, is a good egg sitter. Like a babysitter, but for an egg. So well done for that super writing. Lovely finger spaces and tricky words. They also told me that they've been busy and they've learnt to ride their bike with no stabilisers. What a super time to learn skills like that. Well done you. This person's been very busy. I've got pictures here of him having a go at using his part part hole model with some dinosaurs. He's made a dinosaur with perhaps some toilet rolls and a paper plate. He's got his own version of a Fred, his puppet Incy, which I think he's teaching, which is great. And this is a super idea. Um, a bit like the phonics path we had before, but this one is phonics bowling. We've got all these digraphs and trigraphs. Um, they've taken over the hall, and I think after the sound is made, he's been bowling them with what looks like the coolest ball ever. Well done. This person has decided to find something that he's interested in, so he must have gone through his atlas and he's got a good interest in hammerhead sharks. And here is his drawing. And he's written, hammerhead sharks are called hammerhead sharks because they have a head like a hammer. So he found some interesting facts out on how to get right in them. So what a perfect time to find something that you're interested in and do some learning about that. Right then, I've also got, look at this story. I'll show you the picture first. 
what looks like a very angry man in perhaps a vegetable patch, and I'll read it to you. It says, once upon a time, there was a slug called Sluggy. Great name for a slug. He loved cabbages. And he ate the farmer's cabbage. The farmer was angry and he caught Sluggy and put him in a pie. The end. What amazing story language. What a super, super story. That was the end of the um, emails that I've had back. My most recent video is me and Fred giving Rex a bath and based on the story Dear Dinosaur, which is in a different video, um, we decided it's been a nice idea if you happen to write anything to Rex, like a, a letter to him. I appreciate you can't send the actual letter, but if you took a photo of some of the writing like some of the other children had and send that in, that would be fab. But uh, most of all, enjoy your Easter holidays and I'll see you soon. Bye.